my first pair of shoes melted to the cement. But when you're coming in for exhibition, it is already expected of you that you are a top tier local dancer. At least from my observation, the Vegas dance community feels... Alright, what's going on everyone? Welcome to another episode of Throwing Tantrums. I'm Emma, the director of the company. This is... Brandon B, artistic director. Hey, and... I'm Lauren, I'm the assistant artistic director. director. And... Hi, Max. Yeah, this <laughs> today. Okay, we're gonna talk about we're gonna be talking about what, so let's go right into it. So this is our first uh this is our per first performance as a company out of state. How do you guys how do you guys feel about the whole experience? How do you feel about the entire experience? Go first. Oh okay. yeah. <laughs> yes, the bus. first. Oh okay. Let's yes. throw me. I hate it. Oh, oh average uh, just kidding. It was fun. I think we had to reset people's mindsets on like getting to a performance because yeah. people forgot like, oh yeah. It's not in California and LA. We have mm -hmm. a whole another state because some people forgot that they had to set up a ride to get there. Some people forgot that um, it's going to be 120 degrees. Mm -hmm. 120? <laughs> I think all of us forgot that. Do you understand? I can't believe <laughs> I'm a spoiled city boy, so anything above 77, I'm like, oh my gosh, that's really hot. You're a spoiled California native. Yeah. You're yes. from California. Okay. From I'm California. from California. <laughs> Um, so, at like doing? 78, I'm like, oh, it's kind of hot. We went way past 78. A 120, bro. I was like, what is happening right now? But the overall dance experience was really fun because it was nice to get back into something community uh, and then just kind of get the love and respect <laughs> from other dancers as well to be like, hey, I respect you for what you do and how you do it. Uh, and then just kind of seeing what, what the youths are doing on stage as well. Uh, on a stage like what? Uh, so it was really inspiring. Yeah, and, and those of you guys who don't know what, what what is World of Dance, that's what we ca at least call it here. Uh, so World of Dance, already a world-renowned like uh, competition, uh, and then all, on top of that, we're traveling. So that's already another layer. We're traveling at least like a few hours. We're driving, and then we have to get Airbnb, or we have to like find somewhere to stay, and that's all another layer. And then we have to rehearse. Like, it's a lot. <laughs> so. Like the heat on top of that is already like you have to prepare for that too. How do you perform at the highest caliber that you want to on top of staying hydrated, staying like it's already a lot of energy to be able to maintain all that in a hotter weather. So like all of these layers, how do we provide the that the best um, the best environment for our dancers to succeed? Yeah. So that was um, what we had to do as the word. But yeah. I think it honestly went really well. It yeah. was super fun. It was a great bonding experience. And it was a lot for people to gain from because I feel like a lot of them haven't traveled outside mm -hmm. of California, much less like driven to another performance. And then like, and, and then on top of that, you're like, crap, I have to be on stage. Like how, mm -hmm. how do I do this? Yeah, we so, have a... We have a lot of young dancers, not just in terms of age, but in terms of yeah. experience too. Yes. Because for, at least for me, like, okay, going to Vegas for another gig, for another yeah. show. Yeah. Cool. And then, then, you, and then you're, you're seasoned. Yeah. <laughs> like that, seasoned and then, and then with just dealing with a lot of the stuff oh leading up to that weekend. There was a lot of information oh, I wish yeah. we knew sooner because was there a lot of information, there was a lot of information that wasn't told that completely threw a oh. freaking wrecking ball to our original plans. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I mean, what, what, what was your experience with being like a, being able to just hang out? <laughs> it's hot. It was you know hot. It was? Do you know how it was? 120 <laughs> degrees. <laughs> <laughs> Not 98 degrees. No, 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 they're hot. 100. <laughs> Not that hot, because um, I've never been to um, like a wad, like event before um oh yeah oh. yeah i i know like before the early days of wad before they started like expanding like outside of like pomona they came to new york and then they came to new jersey too broke to go to either of those and then after that like they just kind of stopped coming to the east coast i was like all right i guess i'll just stick to the internet so yeah this was actually like you know first i've ever been to like a any like wad ish event and it was pretty cool and it was, you know, good to see it from backstage because I like that. <laughs> this world of dance was different from like, because the one I, obviously the one we, I usually go to is this world of dance LA. This one felt like a theater show competition. Yeah. The one in the world, world of dance LA is usually at the LA Convention Center, I think. And yeah. that's at, a, at the, 
and it feels mm-hmm. bigger. Like there's yeah. battles going on simultaneously with the main stage, show, yeah. like choreography show. So there's a lot going on, a lot of yeah. vendors. Uh, this one felt much more intimate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, in terms of in terms of scale, but even even at the venue. In terms, speaking of heat, even at the venue, there's so many dancers there practicing because mm-hmm. no one in the hell is gonna practice in the friggin' parking lot on the parking lot at 120 yeah. degree heat. I will say that Wad LA is a lot more like flashy. It's a lot of like celebrity. It almost feels like a convention. Yeah, it's more yeah, like, it's like, like a convention. Really There's tons of vendors, lots of streetwear stuff, lots of like, oh, autograph signing by so and so. You know, it's like it's very flashy. And yeah. uh, Wad Vegas was, like you said, a lot more intimate. It felt very like community based. The crowd was yeah, high. And like everybody respected you. It wasn't mm-hmm. like a, ah, ah, yeah. what are you going to do next? I already saw that. You know, like, People were very like you do you, and that was great. Yeah, you did. yeah. Um, yeah. Vegas had some great fire yeah. groups. Fire groups. Yes. Yeah. Vegas had some fire groups. Empire mm-hmm. is nasty. Empire. Empire. Yes. Yeah. And then I also mm-hmm. it was nice to be reminded of like um, yeah community stages and how did that feel of being in like oh even though we weren't competing like around competitive teams and how that vibe is so different like there's a difference between performing and competing. You know, when you're like, I'm just going to perform and just like make you smile Mm -hmm. compared to, no, I'm taking the gold. I'm taking the gold and then we're going to, you know, and you're like, okay, like that was fantastic. Everybody did ridiculous. And I I loved watching it. I'm not going to lie. Just being around that brought me back. I'm like, (laughs) I know we're not competing. But I want to win something. Yeah. <laughs> I want to. First place I just want. I want to feel the like the, the pride and just killing our shit. Yeah. First place exhibition. Let's, and let's go. In addition to being, I feel like there's a level to exhibition. Like if you're competing, like you already like you are coming in with that fire. But when you're coming in for exhibition, it is already expected of you that you are a top tier level dancer. And yeah. that is why you're not competing. There's already that expectation. And that's that can be like, oh, shit. Or it could be like, yeah, we're the shit. We've been in the community. We have established like ourselves as, as performers, as dancers. And like, and that can be a very, like, uh, it can be a double-edged sword. Because especially since this is our first time performing, coming back, like, after a break. And, like, being yeah. together. Like, that is a lot to put on our shoulders but also we have like shows that we want to do where we're like we need the pressure so that we can step up yes so like it was a good place to do that and it was nice to do that in las vegas because the community is really really it's really supportive and their community is really dope so it's like you want to show Mm -hmm. out for those dancers yeah we got the lauren and i got the pleasure of experiencing the a little bit of like the LV dance community from like not just Wad, but then after that carnival, and then seeing the like essentially all these amazing dancers. Those if those of you guys don't know, like Monday on Vegas is blackout there or something like that. So all the shows are closed. That's why they had carnival on a Monday. So all the choreographers and dancers can can awesome. can come and show out. I appreciated like the 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 support that they have with each other. At least from my observation, the Vegas dance community feels more tight knit. Mm-hmm. Well, I can imagine it's not as saturated with all the dancers that are in LA. Yeah, you know, oh, yeah. LA is saturated with dancers, so it's like, okay, well, what kind of dancer are you? It goes into like genres, right? Mm-hmm. Like, there is small groups within the genres, within the style. It's like there's a small whacking community, there's a small locking community, yeah. there's yeah. Rump- you know, uh, crumpers that are like more of the valley that we see, uh, stuff like that. You know, it's like it starts breaking down. Um, but overall, like, there's just it was a nice experience. One thing that happened, though, I think that was kind of serendipitous, was running into your friend. How was that? Oh, like, yeah. like seeing how worlds collide. How was that for you? Um, yeah, it was. It was great. The way we like text each other on like Instagram, it's like kind of just like we send each other things, and then sometimes we just don't have another conversation after. Mm-hmm. And so I think it like mentioned before that like you know when. We got like the confirmation that um Timber Tatum's gonna wad LV. I was like, Oh hey, July first, I'm gonna be there. And he was like, Okay, cool, but like I told him like months before and then I just didn't tell him again. And I knew he was like busy because like he had like you know, with like his work and stuff. So I was like, It's fine. And then I was like, Oh, let's just, you know, let's 
go to this one Korean barbecue place for dinner yes. after oh, a while. Yeah. Oh, because, so because it's my favorite <laughs> to go there because it's so cheap. Um, but yeah, we ran into him there because he just goes there to eat kind of like on a regular basis almost. And yeah, it was like it was not expecting him. And like someone just comes up from behind me while we were eating going, I know you. I'm like... Who the fuck yeah. is this? I, yeah, I got, I got worried. Really. I know. Like, the oh, second somebody said, I know you. I was like, like am right. <laughs> am <laughs> right. I, I thought that she was like, fuck. I was like, what like, did you do? I yeah. swear I was, I'm a better person now. <laughs> what did you do? What I'm the, a good person now. What person like, did you pick because, up on YouTube because, again? Because I swear, like, the way he approached it was a very like Aggressive. I know you. I'm like, ah, yeah. shit. What did he say about your favorite idol? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> did I say something? What person got offended this time? <laughs> oh god. But it was cool. Like, well, like who did you talk? How to that about? night kind of turned out. Oh my god. Because yeah. orig- oh, you're just awesome. Yeah, like you we were just originally supposed to be going out for Korean barbecue, and then we were, like, was we're all- gonna go to the strip. It was really a for weekend. For Fat Tuesday. Yeah, it was a weekend of first. Yeah. yeah. Like, it was a weekend of first. First time yeah. for some of our dancers to experience World of Dance. Yeah. First time for some of them eating Korean barbecue. Mm-hmm. And first time uh, a getting Tuesday. a Fat Tuesday. Tuesday. Mardi Gras. So, fat and Tuesday I, in it. I feel like that's <laughs> a, a weird, like, what is a uh, rite of passage to get a yeah. Fat yeah. Tuesday yeah. at Vegas. It's not a Vegas trip <laughs> if you don't get Fat Tuesday. So. And plus it was really hot. It was like 120. <laughs> So we needed How that. Was it? It was one twenty. Uh, so yeah, we needed the Fat Tuesday to pull us down, and yeah. it was just I like you haven't had one. We should go get one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then we went downtown to Fremont, and the Fremont experience. Walking down there, we were just like, "Huh, this is cool. Fat Tuesday is cool." Just walking around the others. And then I was like, "Ooh, I heard music." We went to the music. <laughs> and then, of course, yeah, dancers are like, "It's like a trap. We hear music, and we're like. We need oh, to go right. to there. It's yeah. like a fly, like a like a, like a macho plane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like in the bug's life. Hurry, no. Uh, hurry no. I know, right? No, hurry, no. Don't look at the light. I can't help it. And we were like, music? And then as we were walking there, I, went, I remember looking going, there's already a cipher. That's your friend. Yeah. Like, like, there's a cipher. I'm like, found him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then her friend was there. We were like, yeah. oh. and then we just did what dancers do. We just started dancing. Tear it and up. then because it's the... Fremont experience and it's a uh, holiday weekend. It was oh, like what's well, July weekend. Oh, packed. So packed. Yeah. And then all of a sudden it went and it all separated and there was literally hundreds of people just like Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just walking. And all yeah. of a sudden there's phones yeah. everywhere. We're like, oh we're just freestyling, just beat us mm-hmm. now. <laughs> yeah, we're like hundreds of people. Dancing for like three hours. Yeah, yeah. that was a lot. Yeah. yeah. But we started the whole thing and we, I'm I come from my other job, which is like entertainment and like crowd motivating. Vegas. We did that in Las Vegas, and of course, there's people to do it, and they joined us, and it was phenomenal. Yeah, we did like mm-hmm. a whole like cipher like yeah. soul train. Yeah, we did. yeah. Because there was a lot of people that watched, and you see the moving, they, yeah. but they're like they get want in, to get, get in, in, but they're yeah. like it's almost like some these people want the validation and permission to join in yeah because like oh no i'm not i'm, not, I'm just a i'm just a i'm not a dancer I'm just I'm not like a professional moving. dancer it's like we don't care we just want to dance it's, it's a party yeah. it's about the energy and everybody added such good positive energy all ages mm-hmm. i mean there were somebody who were like in their 70s yeah, uh, yeah or 80s was, and they were uh, like just doing this and we're like <laughs> ah, you yeah. know like hey, whatever you could offer yeah. we, we took it uh yeah. so it was really nice to have everybody join us and add in a little spicy yeah. that wanted to to our gumbo. Yeah, I think, I think one of my favorite moments was what, like towards the end, the three like you started doing a follow and all, all of oh, us yeah. were just doing a follow like along. Yeah, and then, yeah, and then er, just the crowd getting the cipher getting bigger and the crowd getting bigger as well. Yeah, like, whoa, everyone like scooted back with their phone. They're like, yeah, I was like, oh, 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 what's happening? No, wait, you you got into the cipher for a bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the back was playing for a bit. <laughs> We had to to speak on it. I mean, you know, sometimes alcohol gives me the confidence of an American white cis het man. You drink? (gasps) I drink. You drink? Uh, Oh my goodness. (laughs) Wait, there's alcohol in Fat (laughs) Tuesday? There's alcohol in Fat Tuesday? There's alcohol in it? I don't like it. (laughs) You tricked me. (gasps) Oh my goodness. Um, my goodness. So, you know, it does give me the confidence of a straight white American cis het man. And... uh, so yeah, I kind of went in for a little bit, but sure. also like I figured it out too. My friendship with Simon, basically like, through high school, like the one year I was in high school here in 
Los Angeles. All we did, like, after, like, during lunch is dance. Hey. Like, we just danced That's together. Awesome. So I was just like, where am I to go? <laughs> Serendipitous, they yeah. joined back together and dance on the strip. Yeah. Well, not the strip, well, per se, Fremont experience. The new strip, basically. Yeah. What was crazy was that we met a Korean barbecue yeah. and then they were like, hey, we're gonna, like, we're going to the strip. Yeah. Like, not, we're gonna be here. We all know those times where yeah. you see your friend and, like, we should hang out. Yeah. And then you just don't. <laughs> you know, you know what that is, where you're like, just like, we should totally hang out. And then it's a Lizzie yesterday. We actually kind of did. <laughs> we kind of, like, ran into each other. And then it was like a Spider-Man moment where we were like, oh, oh you're here. And oh. then the oh. DJ, and I felt really bad. Sorry, Go-Go Dancers, because uh, there was two Go-Go they Dancers. Were they were it. beautiful. And they, they were, were killing it. They were killing it. They were all like, do, 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 do on the stage with the DJ. And people were and like, oh, balls. sexy women. Their, out- their outfits were so yeah, cute. They were dope. Yeah, and then they were we were just said, they were uh, no. it. their dances were good. Yeah, we and took all so of the attention. Of the attention. Yeah. I felt a little bad. <laughs> I did also, feel bad. Uh, but also, I'm like, you know what? She probably, so I would probably think, like, oh, I don't have to work that hard. Just, I don't seriously. Know. Honestly, yeah. Yeah. I'm getting paid. From one former go-go exotic dancer to another, it's we need a break. Mm-hmm. And if I could just two-step and I'm getting paid the same, I'm on two-step and getting and paid the same. And they're doing that for free. <laughs> yeah. 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 One yeah. thing uh, I just remembered, like, the one, there was this one woman that, oh, that yeah. came to us after. Oh, so, like, yeah. I, I don't remember she what she was, was so saying. Sweet. What was she saying? What did she, she say? First of all, she came in and she was just like, I can kind of dance. And we're, instead of us being like, what are, what are you doing? Yeah. Like, you're not a real dancer. You know what? We're like, ah, ah, like, we're all, Temper Tantrum is known for just hyping people up yeah. for anything. Yeah. <laughs> no matter what your ability, age, mm-hmm. size, anything. We're just like, you do you, and we're going to hype you up. We're the best hype man for everyone. <laughs> yeah. So she came and she was like, and, and it was just like a simple, ah, uh, we were like, ah, ah, go, yeah, yeah, yeah. She was like, oh, I could, <laughs> I have permission to do what I want. So she kind of just did her thing. Mm-hmm. And she kept around in the same circle after for about a good while, like an hour oh, or two. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah and then when we were leaving, we're like, okay, we're all really sweaty. It's really we're hot. so tired. Like, it's, I'm tired. It's we saw Wad that, you know, the same morning or that same afternoon. So yeah. we were still, like, coming down from everything. I was yeah. like, this is it was a bit a long okay. day. So let's just go yeah. home. Mm-hmm. Um, she came and she stopped us. And she was like, hey, Sweet. can I talk to you guys for a second? And I was like, oh, no. <laughs> where where is this gonna go? Because <laughs> it is one a.m. and it's yeah. Vegas. So uh-huh. what are you into? Tell us. And everyone's um, really drunk at the time. Yeah. Yeah. She just kind of said, "Hey, I just want to say you guys had such good energy. Like the energy and everything that you brought to all of this right now was so fun to watch, and it was so welcoming and so open." And I was like, "Oh, that's really sweet. Like that means a lot. Thanks. We try to have a really open, warm." vibe to us then i saw the the emotion kick in in her face and she started tearing up and i was like "Uh uh-oh and she's like i just want to say that you guys healed something that i needed healing with and i was like oh no oh no and i was like is this and it wasn't even like a drunk cry like she was actually just really emotional and she just said you know i was going through some stuff and i needed some healing and you healed that hole that needed to be healed she also said like she's like she's mom and like she doesn't get to do this often so it's like me like Mm. being outside and like with people and like letting like getting to let go and not have those type of responsibilities and stress is like something that is like very emotional for her and very relieving so it was like it was nice to be like kind of a part of that journey and also a part of like that experience too yeah yeah i think i mean let's really let's break let's break that down shall we (laughs) Mm -hmm. um I think the idea, too, of fun as an adult means drinking, uh, expensive vacations. Mm. Like, it must include those. Or it's it's just, that's just what adult fun looks like. But It's like a high, like, financial... Yeah, Yeah. or let's just drink until we just have fun sitting in a bar drinking and da-da-da-da. Like, but, like, we're all adults and we have fun literally doing anything yeah. like doing you can't this. even take us to target doing this because right the music in <laughs> oh, target <no. laughs> like we will be dancing in target laughing yeah. and joking around and yeah. it's just like just we just enjoy target. life yeah. you can't you can't take yeah. us to the gym either you can't take us anywhere don't take us to the gym don't <laughs> <laughs> definitely don't take Brandon to don't the gym to yes go to this link right uh, here. no right here don't <laughs> do it today is the day of the retreat you're excited for a retreat huh? 
excited. Uh, it's about 8 a.m. right now. I couldn't sleep last night because I was so excited. I was like, yeah, you gotta wake up in the morning. And then I was like, fuck, I gotta wake up in like four or five hours. <laughs> Before we head on over to Idlewild, we are gonna be heading over to the gym to trick Brandon into working out with us. Um, Views, Brandon. But you know what I'm saying? Like, it was funny. I think it's giving ourselves permission mm -hmm. to just have fun yeah. and then oh, laugh absolutely. and just yeah. be dumb because yeah we're professional dancers but we weren't always like dancing professionally the whole time some of us were just yeah. messing around just being goofy and just doing whatever yeah granted yes we did have a drink but it wasn't like let's just sit in a bar and have a drink and that's, that's it. it yeah, yeah. that's all we're doing like... is just talking about life and having a drink mm -hmm. that's needed sometimes but yeah. like sometimes let loose like just yeah again yeah. you don't have to be a professional dancer you can oh, absolutely do whatever you want uh, and I think that's what we gave, is that permission to just be, yeah. and not only just be, be celebrated for it. Uh, yeah. And I think that makes a really huge difference. Yeah, it really does. That Vegas is that place where people can leave everything behind and mm -hmm. just, like, let loose. And sometimes, like, people need that. Sometimes it's hard to give yourself permission to do it, actually. Yeah. And so when other people are like, yeah, you know, you do you, sometimes that is enough permission for people to unload all of the emotional stuff that's going on, all of the responsibilities that they have. Like a place to just let loose and like not have any type of repercussion like emotional repercussion for it yeah you're in a safe space you're with people who are also in that same mindset and they're supportive of you so yeah. that's it's it's gorgeous it's really really awesome moral of the story your tribe is your vibe yes you know your tribe is your vibe if you have positive supporting people around you mm -hmm. you can do anything even if they're just True. like hey i just want to be stupid we we miss a lot of that when you yeah. don't have that vibe and that tribe yeah. to support you and just be there just to be yeah yeah i actually just wanted to go back to water real quick during the the event was how you were feeling through it i remember you were mentioning out nervous you felt you want to then speak on that how yes you were for that hold day. on it's how, coming back to me yeah. and it's all so coming back to me now, now. There we go. yeah there was a, a lot of tension so it's like we're trying to make sure that people are housed, that people are hydrated, that people have energy, that yeah. people are also having a good time, but also people know what's going on backstage, making sure they know, like, they know the area, making sure that they are well equipped emotionally to, like, like follow through with all of these things. And that's, like, I was like, oh, this is a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is a lot as, like, a director, and this is a lot as, as a choreographer because I can't just, like, like like berate my dancers that they're not doing things correctly uh during tech was also like was one thing i like walking away i want to make sure that people can format themselves to the stage and make sure that they're and then also make sure that they're not stressed about it the second part the making sure that they're not stressed about it is honestly out of my control yeah and all i can do is like help people to be prepared to help themselves and that is hard especially yeah. in 120 degree weather yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I i think that's the difficulty of being a director is you're more than that you are everybody knows i'm mama it wasn't stressful per se because i'm used to doing this for years but it is a lot if you break it down it's like that's yeah. a lot. We have to coordinate a lot of things and really make sure that everybody else is taken care of first. Yeah. And then we're getting like last. Yeah. Um, so oh like setting God. up car rides, <laughs> getting them food, making sure they're they're resting, making yeah. sure they're empowered to want to do it. As a good director, you should give everybody resources yes. to whatever they need. Yeah. Um, whether it's, I just need a moment. Cool. Have a moment. Yeah, uh, make sure that you build moments into it so they don't like get stressed out. Yeah. Um, two, make when they're doubting themselves, give them confidence. Like, you have it. Yeah. Remember we did this in, in the studio, you got it. Uh, you know, reminding them that they're they're there for a reason. Yeah, because um, yeah, yeah, I, I know I, I'll let her tell this story when whenever she's on the podcast again, but like, I had a moment with one of our dancers where they were just mm. personally yeah. freaking out. And they, I- Yeah, I think they all had a panic attack. Yeah, and then, yeah. Uh, again, being the director, being uh, not just a, director but almost like a therapist or yeah. a coach yeah uh, some would say because you're making sure these people are again mentally 
in a, the proper headspace because I personally, I, the tech we had was not the best. Yeah. Uh, but we, cause we're seasoned. We know, okay, we'll get, we'll be fine. Mm-hmm. Well, for some of the others, they took it a little uh, closer to home because they weren't happy with how they were performing. Yeah. That's where being an empathetic director, uh, leader comes to play. Some people, they couldn't, in terms of the level of the performance, sometimes it's all about like their state of mind. They're frustrated at a point, like at this certain point of where they are, and they're, they're latching on to that hard. Uh, when I was talking to this person, it was, it was about shifting the focus of like, what do you want out of this? Is this like, obviously you want to do good, but there's only so much work you can do until you hit that stage, and it's just diminishing return, or you're just putting too much pressure on yourself. I told her like the, the main thing that I want them to have is just enjoy the fact that you're here. Yeah. Give it everything you can. You've done this before. Like just like again, like shifting the story of it to that helps. Mm-hmm. So the the upside is that like we we worked throughout the whole day when we weren't like killing ourselves, um, and we had the luxury of leveraging technology to actually yeah. see what the directors see. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. So that way, and that way. It's not just like, oh, you need to fix this. Like, sometimes the answers will be like, why? I'm, I know I'm doing it right. Mm, no, yeah. see that? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Video evidence yeah. of you not doing that it That does right. say a lot. Like, and it's honestly, like, really, really helpful because a lot of the, I feel like, like, back in the day where it was, um, you wouldn't even get mirrors. Sometimes all you get is you're on concrete in the parking structure, and that's mm-hmm. literally all you get. And you get the dances around. Yeah. And so, that. like, you're lucky you get your shadow. Yeah, sometimes I would use my shadow to clean myself because that's all I have. But like um, being able to provide the footage and then like see what you can do for yourself. Like it saves so much time. That applies to all of us too, not just dance. Like I know sometimes that I'm like, I was killing it. And then I watch a video and I'm like, I was not. I was not. I was not. Okay, we got to do that again because I sucked. And that's another thing too, like being a leader is like owning up like, oh yeah, I fucked up. Yeah, you know, was I was not good. Bad. I messed up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was B A D. Yeah, I think that's a B-A-D. great example of leadership. Just being allow yourself to be vulnerable. But some yeah. leaders I just try to this have this air of perfection. Because, Elitists. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, and then it's like not acknowledge. They don't acknowledge it themselves, and then it you as much as you like want to be supportive, you kind of you feel the resentment. Mm. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah oh. you feel the resentment. But like when people are really honest, you're like, "Ooh, I didn't terrible on that part." I feel like I'm with a person who's real. I feel like I'm with someone who it notices that we are all in. Uh, we're all working on it. It's easy to connect with someone like that as opposed to someone who's just like, "I'm amazing," and you're like, "I would like to agree with you. I really would like to agree with you." <laughs> there but was a, the one footage. of the rehearse, one of the like pre wad rehearsals. I think like the second to last rehearsal mm-hmm. before wad. Um, I think you guys were cleaning and you're watching yourselves like on the screen, like on the TV at the yeah, studio. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then I think when like you know before like oh, you were like okay like you were pointing out like certain days like okay clean that do this make it bigger smaller whatever and then no one was no one else was saying anything like about themselves and then I think you said something and I fixed that or something mm-hmm. and like you said out loud like you guys were giving yourselves notes out loud oh, yeah. like they started oh, yeah. doing it themselves because oh. I feel like if you just kind of kept it to yourself like oh I need to fix that oh yeah, yeah. whispered like yeah, yeah. Like, like they yeah. they won't find it like they can't voice out what they think they did wrong. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Well, even saw what you guys did wrong. Even yeah, if exactly. it, it was yeah. a joke, but I like, like, I felt like if no one's going to say anything, I'll just make a joke. And even though it's an actual note to myself, yeah. I yeah. feel like it's, if they see a, some, a leader give themselves out and what they need to fix, then it gives them permission that, okay, yeah. vocalize it themselves. Yeah. And I think, yeah. absolutely. Um, ideally, we would have a little bit more time to do some film sessions to actually review ourselves because I like, this is just taken from athletes and how they do it. They study their game a lot. They watch themselves in, their, in how they did it in the previous game. They watch their opponents. And I would just like for us, that's something that I think we're able to implement more with now that the, the studio we're at has a TV for us to use. Yeah. And this has been great because now we can see quickly after a run through okay, how it look, what can we fix. Yeah. Real time. Boom. Yeah. Because yeah. sometimes, I, as a, me, if I give notes in, when I'm in director mode, like it's not everyone is gonna 
get it because I'm talking too much. Yeah. Like there's like I'm say I gave I gave like eight notes and they're only remembering two. Yeah. Yeah, I wanted to give you guys uh, props for handling the weekend and directing it because when you guys picked me up, I was not in a good headspace. And I texted Max and Barn that I was gonna Talk be like emotionally it. raw uh, because I had just come from like a two week trip with uh, Jordan visiting my family, just separating from my son like a few hours before it was gonna be a lot for me. So like when you guys picked me up, I was kind of like mentally like exhausted i was trying to i was in a very very different frequency where you guys you guys were like in fun mode i'm like you were in fun mode and like in my in in my mind one in the morning yeah it was one i was uh trying to like process everything that had just happened so but did but you guys doing everything like in terms of the cleaning adding the taking care of making sure that the team was taken care of uh all that stuff was fantastic because throughout like even during the Colorado trip I was trying to handle like stuff for the show mm-hmm. like getting I was sending you guys cult, like the lighting ideas mm-hmm. you're going to do updated mixes so oh, I, yeah. Thank you, Mexico. yeah so things like that I did this while all like okay well my son was hanging out with my sister instead so that way I'm like not cutting into our time yeah but yeah and then thanks to Max for also helping like with yeah. the admin work and then oh my god the, yeah make sure all the waivers the are signed just like, yeah. did anyone did everyone sign it yeah like, okay oh my god. Signed. yeah and it's like yeah we're performing tomorrow yeah like your waivers on signed. sign it now yeah yeah you get it yeah so this is definitely it was, it's also like great to have a a solid team that can get it done Get her done. Get her done. Get her done. <laughs> well, what are your favorite moments for one? <gasps> My favorite moment is definitely Free Monster. Okay. Yeah. That was the that highlight was for me. Wad yeah. was great, but just being in an organic environment of just dancing. It's organic. Not competing. Yeah. And like not, a, not an organized okay. thing. Uh, right after Wad, we got to the Airbnb. Yeah. We were just chilling. Yeah, awesome. yeah, it was, yeah, we were chilling. It was nice to have the competition so early so we could relax yes. and then also like spend some quality time together. That was really nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what was that? Here, let me catch that. <laughs> there. Um, oh. My favorite <laughs> moment. That was amazing. I have two. Thank for you. sure, number one would be the same thing as the Freeman experience. That yeah. Freestyle dancing was fun. Yeah. Um, but as a creative director, um, seeing something in your mind and then seeing it on stage is one thing. And then also putting it in front of an audience uh, is a different thing. Because then you want to see, did the wow factors hit where the wow factors were were placed? You know, like, did it hit? Was it received well? Were people confused? Did your storyline read? (laughs) Did the moments have a moment? Or were they just kind of like, because there's been times where people think, including myself, where I'm like, oh, this is going to kill. And then you go out and people are like, that was nice. Interesting. Hmm. And I'm like, oh no. Not, not, <laughs> I feel something. <laughs> that did it's not joy. <laughs> it is not joy. Go on. I feel something. something. <laughs> um, yeah, but nice. yeah, like seeing it actually hit and be like, okay, that worked. Uh, okay, that worked. Or that one didn't work as well. We need to tweak it a bit. So for me, artistically, I'm like, okay, what worked? What didn't work? And also, what worked on the bodies that were doing it? Yes. Um, you know, because some people they didn't believe they could do certain things, and yeah. then it hit. And vice versa. Sometimes I'm like, I'm gonna give it to you, and then they did it, and I'm like, I'm taking that away. We're gonna go to the next person. Like, you know, <laughs> hey, it's real. It is what it is. Hey, yeah, it is. We did talk about this. We, yeah, you know, yeah. There are changes coming for. Uh uh-huh. yeah. shame. You just gotta make changes. Yeah, yeah. It is there what are it make is. changes, and it doesn't mean that you can't do it in the future. But right now, it's not the greatest yeah and it's not working right now yeah it's not working right now can it work in the future yes is there a gap gotta fill it yeah, yeah. go on so that that's my second thing it's just kind of seeing it watching the audience hearing the audience watching the video and being like okay now i know what to do from here on yeah uh, i think it's important right we can't just be like this is perfect it's yeah. like uh, definitely no, not we, feel it. We need yeah. to yeah. tweak things. Here great skeleton, great uh, place. Base. Or, yeah. yeah, I think it was a great base. I think we did fantastic for what yes. we were doing. Do I feel like there's a gap between where we are and where we want to be? Yes, absolutely. And that's not bad. And that is kind of evaluating. Okay, like which dancers are here? Which ones are going to be in the end show? What can I improve? What can I take yeah. out? And that is an entire process. And it's good that we know. It's like this wad is kind 
kind of like testing or where is temper tantrum right now in terms of this test yeah. and this is where we are and that is like completely fine i don't think anyone should have any like any type of like repercussions for how um like it's like being bad or being good is not an indicator of where you can be yes. yeah there is always a place to go and take that and take that uh experience like very seriously oh but understand that's like this is where you're at yeah. and that's not good or bad but where do you want to be yeah. yeah just the evaluation um it was actually um before we left to get korean barbecue like we were all just kind of like hanging out at the airbnb mm. and like knowing oh, that like is it that? just like oh, the thing yes. is like normally we're, everyone's tired obviously from the drive over it's the day before hot. it's it was how hot it's hot it's a hundred <laughs> Get up in there! 20! <laughs> Get up in there! <laughs> 120! Get this one! This one! This one! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Come go! 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 Yeah, it was like, you know, like everybody was tired and obviously like you guys like perform like on stage and it's like, it was out. It was, it was a scorcher. And we started doing all the, the Kardashian parodies and... Oh, God, that was great. I wish I was filming more of that. <laughs> I, I took some of it. I can't believe I did it again. It was like really cool just like seeing like the, like, cause like, I think everyone was tired, but like if there were like Delirious. two or three people with like enough energy powered by delirium, um, it like basically spread to everybody and then yeah. all of a sudden everybody's sitting up and not just like kind of <laughs> sunk it into Melting, a comfortable yeah. it house. Wild. It was so and you're also having delirious conversations <laughs> after Fremont, Fremont Street. Yeah, the conversation were, we had in the room. Were they were not delirious conversations. conversations. They were, they were serious. serious. They were well thought out. <laughs> Dude, no. that, we were, I we were can't on, believe we were he just said that. on autopilot. <laughs> oh yeah, so yeah. I, don't, I don't even remember what's the what did we talk about? No idea. Well, we started with no, asking Daniel status. about um, like we his experience. Oh, we did film it. Yeah. Somehow we got to oh condiments gosh. and then come. <laughs> oh, and then cinnamon rolls. What cinnamon? Oh, how do you do cinnamon rolls? How do you eat cinnamon rolls? Yes, how do you... How do we even... I don't even know how to But I remember this I was like... This is a question like, for the audience. People. How, yeah. you, how, how do you... you comment down below. Yeah. yeah. Comment down below. It do you better be from outside to in. That's weird. You better just take a bite. <laughs> <laughs> like a barbarian. I, I remember yes. being... Trying to be really wholesome because I'm very much so... It's funny because I don't like talking about my feelings. But I like how everyone <laughs> talk about their feelings. I'm very like, let's open up. And then I'll go around the whole room and they're like, what about you? And I'm like, next question. <laughs> and then I'll oh, continue yeah. on. So I was like, let's do this. Let's record it all. Daniel, this is your first time at what? This, this is your first Fat time. Tuesday. Fat Tuesday. <laughs> first time Korean first barbecue. Time Korean barbecue. Like, this is the time for you. And he was being really fulsome and Daniel like. And I was like, yeah. And I literally was, again, just kind of delirious. <laughs> and then maybe two minutes later and they're like but then how do you eat your cinnabon and i was like <laughs> listening and i'm trying to explain it he was like yeah i eat like this and i was like what are we talking about like how did we even get here and then somebody said come or whatever and i was like what <laughs> i said come he's like how did we even get just... here i'm so confused and i was trying to be like, oh, so to be like <laughs> daniel tell me about your experience and now we're talking about all this <laughs> Like, it's I, a fucking cinnabar. I can't. <laughs> so much. Uh, I don't know how we got there. I don't know how we got, how we got there, there. But yes. Um, that is an experience nonetheless. Does Abby it bring Daniel, me joy? Don't leave us. No. Please. Does it bring me joy? No. 10 out of 10 would do it again. Would recommend. Right. I will say next time I would like to do a buffet. Oh, yeah. I'll ask my brother for the good spot. And Ooh, next yeah. time we'll, or like go to like, we'll prep for our Friday and Saturday. Yeah. 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 And not get surprised. No. During today's episode, do all the things. Like, comment, subscribe, go to Patreon, be one of our patrons, and you will find some awesome, amazing content. You will get early access to that. <laughs> Like I this said, thing. <laughs> yes. Like this right here. So yeah. Love y'all. Uh, and dang it. don't forget, stay out of hot weather. That's 120. 120. You gotta get this one right here. You gotta get the other two cameras. 120. Oh, this one. 120. <laughs> 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 over here. This one over here. Oh, my God. You brought this on the show.
Ah, uh, Jed, I sweat it. <laughs> it was just fine. I can't. Okay. I can't. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye. Bye.